scarred guitar. That's a scarred guitar. The owner brought it back for an annual string change. <laughs> a little cleanup action. You know what I'm saying? Got the graph tech locking ratios on it. Solid walnut body. <laughs> Sounds killer, don't it? <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Let me see what other scarred guitars I got in the house. scarred guitar <laughs> not so scarred guitar what's going on <laughs> you like this guy huh yeah me too sick ain't it well we got some stuff going on in here tonight y'all ain't gonna believe all this stuff facing to happen We got something going on tonight that was sponsored by one of our fellow Scarred Nation people. He's in the chat. His name is the worstest guitar player in the world, but his real name is Dave, and he's my good friend. Thank you, Dave. What are you doing in the chat tonight, brother? And since he's sponsoring our little, our little shindig we got going on tonight, I'm going to send him this. He don't even know it. Dave, this is yours, bro. Y'all congratulate Dave because he's fixed to hook y'all up. <laughs> y'all ready? Dang, that thing sounds sweet. Man, I ain't looked to see who's in here. Johnny, what's up, my man? Of course, Dave and Lee. D buddies in here, my child. What's up, my child? Tom, what's up, Tom? My man, Tom's in the house. Barry Hayes, man, I see you, Barry. Love you, my man. You are the man. Look at there, Jim Cox. <laughs> Thank you, there, brother. Keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. You are the man. We're trying to keep up the good work, man. You guys help us do that. Louie, what's up, man? Y'all say what's up to my boy Luigi. That's my good friend in here. Come over here to spy on me. <laughs> he knows me personally. Marsha T, what's up, girl? We're going to work on your your uh, Fessly tonight. What's it called again? A Fessly? <laughs> K2 Rocks, what's up, baby? Rob Allen's in the house. Fred, what's up, dude? Fred's been around the channel a long time. M's in the house. Yeah, we got old M in the house. He's always hanging on around the corner there. Forest Floor, what's up, dude? I like that name, Forest Floor. <laughs> RJ Group, always got to say what's up to the members. Rich, what's up, dude? Jay Reed and Bill Ullman, what's up, my man? RKG456 is in the house. We got all these guys, everybody. Jack Butler's even here, y'all. You believe that? Jack Butler's here. I'll be dang. Look at that. And Chad, he's here too, man. It's hard, hard to miss them guys. Brian Phelps, my number one moderator. What's up, brother? Brian will kick you in the balls if you get wrong in the chat. Tell him, Brian. Louie, what's up, bro? Zunfold. Eric Quinn, what's up, my man? James, what's up, dude? Amp, amp, yo. Larry McNeely, what's going on? You get that kit put together yet? Richard Constantino, what's up, baby? Kip Scott's in here, y'all. Rod Axum's in here, y'all. Y'all see him pouring in. My man said he's enjoying the ride. Me too, brother. 
I am trying to enjoy it myself. <laughs> if I miss you, I miss you, man. Let's get down to business. What's going on? I didn't miss you, Dick. I see you. And Rev and Joe and your meal. I see you. I see you, John Road. John making sure I see him. So what's up, dude? Rich, what's going on? Smoking gun. What's up, dude? An oblivion aviator. Gunner man, what's up, baby? Gunner man, bro, you've been around this channel for the longest, dude. You and Coy are probably the top two. All right, mom, where's my Pepsi? You know I've been a good boy. What? No. I get Pepsi tonight, Jack. Pete. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I can't Kathy, for real, man. Stop playing. She's talking about some tea, bro. Kathy, please. You just can't have Pepsi. All right, no Pepsi, I guess. Nah. Uh, thank you. Uh huh. Thank you. Enjoying the ride. Said, hey, Kathy. Uh oh, it's going down. This is the only <laughs> thing I get during the week, right here. Yep. I used to drink Coke until the idiot started all that bull crap. <laughs> yeah, I'm a sweet tea country boy too, Kip. Sure do. It's got them Grover tuners on it, dude. This thing sounds killer, man. My aunt Lisa, two yards. What's up, dude? Thank you, sir. About time you got on the members' boat, man. But listen, my aunt Lisa, she used to put pet uh, Pepsi and milk together. I tried it one time. It was horrible. You see Marsha T's on her moderator duties. Yeah, right, Robert Tucker. <laughs> Nature's child said, demo those pickups. What pickups might you be referring to, my child? <laughs> huh? Say. Like on Laverne and Shirley. Did she? Yeah, they did it on Laverne and Shirley too, didn't they? Hey, Sean and Kathy Auto said. That sounds like it would taste like a root beer float. It tasted nothing like that to me. Yeah, I don't know how that worked out, man. The ones you put in that Timo guitar. What do you, what's he talking about now? They're right here. No, I haven't heard of Sully pickups. But I got Kathy making me pickups. Do you know, you want me to tell them why you really haven't been making pickups for sale? The reason, listen, I'm finna tell, I'm finna let the cat out the bag on y'all. Now, you know, I've been getting these necks from a company. It's called Ye Lang. It's who they are. And they're, they are a Chinese company, but they make all the major brands small brand guitars i don't even have to sit here and name them all you know who they are but i made them a cnc file for these necks that's why you can't buy this because i made this for them i made the cnc file for this you understand and I just made the CNC files for my own brand of guitars. Me and Kathy just bought 40 guitars from them. They're all going to have these necks on them. And what pickups? There's going to be Kathy's pickups in them. <laughs> she just made 40 sets of pickups to put in them. 
Well, not done yet, but working on it. Okay. And they're going to be available for sale on Amazon. I'm going to get a, I'm going to, I'm probably going to bring a bunch of them in here and we're going to bust them all open and check them all out when Bill, they get here. Bill said he wants to buy one of those necks. We got three left. Not There's eBay. three necks on, on eBay. There won't be any more necks. So you better, it's all guitars from here. So if you want one of those necks, there's three left. They're on eBay. There won't be any more necks. It's all guitars from here. These are the last three. And These are the last right three. Now. I showed you how to mod the guitar to fit this neck in the video. And if you think that's not one ass-kicking neck, it wouldn't have that name on it if it wasn't. That's the truth right there. I ain't doing that, bro. Somebody asked if I could solder. What? Kathy can solder like a like a chimpanzee can eat a banana. Didn't I just do that in the last video? <laughs> yeah, the necks are super nice. Thank you, Egbert. Egbert said, seriously, those necks are nice. I got the kit you guys did on one last week. It's totally awesome. Thanks. You're welcome, bro. That's why we do this, man, to see guys like you happy. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do here, but it's going to be something. Kathy, you can take those necks off my work table. <laughs> Give me that bass. Y'all want to stain a guitar body together again? We're going to do a simple stain tonight. Nothing stupid. Let's do a simple stain together. Y'all want to do a simple blue stain? Who knows how to do a simple blue stain? Those necks are 25.5. Yep, the new brand's going to be Scarred Guitar. Listen, man. Those necks, the, the the guitars that we're having made, I designed the CNC files myself. So I know they're going to be sick. <laughs> and they can't screw it up the way that I made it for them. Somebody said, when can they buy that red <coughs> guitar? Huh? <laughs> so when can I buy that red guitar? I believe that one's a custom order. It belongs to Anthony. That belongs to my boy Ant. He can't have it. <laughs> Jam and Jim said, what? Am I going to sell any what? Yeah, we got a... It's going to be Seafoam Green, Siesta Red, Cherry Burst, and Sunburst. <clears throat> Brian said blue. He would expect nothing other than blue. Standing the guitar. Timothy said, can I have one similar? What are you talking about, bro? He likes that red guitar. Jim, Jim, you going to sell any necks? Bro, there's three left. I just told everybody. That's the last three. They're on <laughs> eBay. They're on eBay. What is that? That's a dumpster, Paul, ain't it? Otto just jumped in on basic. Oh, my Les Paul's looking pretty good. I just need the parts and we can send it back home to the guitarologist. I just had the parts, man. Y'all want to see something <laughs> funny? Y'all want to see something funny? So I, I went and got the, I told Kathy, I said, put the tuners on it so we can show it to them in the video and the end of the video. And then I went and checked it out. And then she put them on upside down. <laughs> she put them guys on upside down. Oops. Oh, you turned me inside out. I guess you can't. Uh, I guess you can't try not to uh, it, huh? Oh, you thought that was glued in there. <laughs> <laughs> you thought that was glued in that bad boy, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, you thought that was glued in there. Don't lie, you knew you thought it was. Somebody. <laughs> yeah, they ain't glued in. Somebody asked uh, earlier a minute ago about... Not this. yet. Still got a couple more coats of gold to go. But it's looking pretty dang good, ain't it, boys? Somebody asked if the what? guitars on Amazon will be your custom shape that you've been working on. Yes, they're 
two custom shapes that we made ourselves. Man, look, I totally refuse to knock people's guitar shapes off, man. Not doing it. I can't do it. I just can't do it. I can't. I can't do it. Even Kathy, let's make a couple telly shapes. Man, I'm not doing it, man. Not. Yep, back and edge is natural, just like the real thing. No, sir, Robert Tucker, that is Honduras mahogany. Some of the best mahogany money can buy. Yeah, Les Paul's looking pretty sweet, ain't it? All right, Mom, let's do something, man. Tired of standing around here. Are you going to work Hanging on in your keisters and stuff. Working on Don't my... hit that like button yet. There's 200 people in here and 100 likes. Out. What's going on with that? What's my moderators doing? Marcia said she had to Bro, I ain't doing nothing until we get this like situation straightened out. Something ain't right here. You guys over there drinking too much or something. Bill I'm, wants I realize know. it's Saturday night and everybody's in. What? Bill wants to know if you know the scale of the neck you sent him in his kit. Bill uh, who? Bill Allman. It's most likely fender scale, bro. The best way to check is to put a ruler on it. Measure it from the first fret to the twelfth, and then double that by two. That's right. Put the bong down. And hit the like button. <laughs> You're hitting the wrong thing. Like button's free. Larry said he's trying to figure out what finish he wants to put on the kit. Two yards said no more kits, eh? <laughs> yeah, we got a couple more going up. <clears throat> I don't know what they're going to be yet, though. We're making uh, the one for Jim Cox tomorrow. Yeah, we got the, all the wood glued up for a couple of custom bodies, so we're going to cut all them tomorrow. Edward Davis, what's going on? He said, great show, brother. Thank you, sir. Did you buy the last black pit guard like the one for the purple body from Tebow? No, sir. Nope, I didn't buy it. There's but, Brian Adair's here. Brian Adair, holy crap, that's one of my good old friends from so long ago. Brian, what's up, man? Dang, dude. Yeah, one of the very first guitars. Brian guitar. got one of the very first guitars I ever made. And then, then they somebody stole it from him. <laughs> oh. That's terrible, ain't it? I'm I laughing, but. I didn't know that. Yeah, he stole his guitar, man. Dang. No, it's getting silver like it's supposed to. It's already got silver tuners on it. What's up, Heck? I'm on the hard cream soda tonight, Barry said. <laughs> <laughs> That's the good stuff, huh? Where's all my guys at, man? Let's do this, Mom. Studio Marsha. Marsha Pink. Yeah, that like button ain't right, huh? We'll do some work instead. Having fun. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we'll just do some work instead of having fun. All right, here we go. Now, this is going to be a real easy fix. We're going to do this ghetto style. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> don't, like make, that, huh? don't make me get out my beating stick. Hey, we're about to do this ghetto style tonight. Watch this. No, I ain't joking. I ain't playing around with this guitar, man. Stupid fancy guitar, man. It's got a it's got a bad ground. But it won't be stupid when you're done with it. No, it's got it. But it supposedly the has a wire going to the thing. I haven't opened this one, but the other did. So we're gonna see. Everybody said they think it's because the the hardware's painted, so the wire. I know that's what it is. Wire's not. Connected. I'm gonna guarantee you that's what it is, because I've already checked it with the meter. And it is not conducive. We did that before, remember guys? We did that in the, in the live video. You wasn't here for that. Well, I mean, you just missed it. <laughs> <laughs> now watch this. I got the strings nice and loose. We're just going to pop this right off. See that? I told you we're going to do this ghetto style. 
You ain't never going to see no other YouTuber do this live. <laughs> yep. Nope. He's going to have some rags over here. He's going to have all this tape on everything. He's going to waste all his time doing stupid idiot stuff. We're going to get right in here and fix the problem. I need a hammer and some duct tape. <laughs> yeah. You heard me? I said I need some hammer and duct tape. Redneck fix for everything, huh? And a coat hanger. Mooch Smiley's on the same page. <laughs> a man's on the same page. <laughs> We're going to set that to the side because I'm going to need one of these. I'm thinking it might be there. I hope it's not under here. Somebody asked, can you recommend a budget-friendly locking tuner in back? Budget-friendly? Bro, I would just go ahead and buy some decent ones. Like Grover? Those yeah, locking. man. Those self-locking Grover tuners, I get are like 55 bucks. You can get them lower than that sometimes. You can catch them lower than that sometimes. Well, somebody bought a neck. That means there's only two left. There's only two left. Somebody just bought another neck. Only two guitars left. I mean, next. <laughs> yeah, wrong Hang on, I'm looking for my hammer. There it is. What about now, that? Where's the duct tape? I'm looking for that right now. <laughs> no, I'm not really. But I am going to take this off real quick. Let's go. Let's go and see if this wire is poking out of here. And it's not. It's in the other one. I knew it. Somebody I knew it was going to be in here. The Geiker, yes, the Geiker is a good brand too. Wilkinson, no, Geiker, the Geiker, Geiker's good. Their stuff is good. Uh, I Ed, think those bullfighter tuners are probably pretty good too. Ed Malone recommended the Geiker. So I do see the wire down there. I see a wire. So I I take that back. Fesley did put the wire there. Right, we already decided why it wasn't working. Well, I I mean I I said. In the, in the live video last time, it probably didn't have a ground wire. So oh. I wasn't thinking. Oh, okay. Stupid idiot stuff. You know what I mean? I need a pair of needle loads. I ain't got none. I know I have <laughs> 15 pairs of Somebody them. asked if the wire says fast lay on it, too. <laughs> Moog. Moog asked that. It does. <laughs> Don't laugh at my glasses. You just got to put your glasses on to see the fest lay on the wire. Maurice Dibert's here. Yo, Maurice. What's going on, <laughs> baby? What's going on, man? Two Yards said that Two Yards made a really cool guitar from one of your kids. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He's also the greatest guitar player in the world, in case you didn't know that. <laughs> Man, that's just an ugly color. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Marsha, but that's an ugly guitar. I like the color, actually. Uh, yeah. You must like it if you bought it. I like it. That would have never have been the card if it would have been me. I would have never have bought this. You couldn't have paid me to buy this. Pink and green. Best colors ever. Mike said, Pepto Bismol Pink. <laughs> Floyd Lay, howdy, Kathy and Sean. From down on her, love this channel. Thank you, bro. What'd they say? Crikey, mate. What's he say? <laughs> what? Is that, is that, what do they call it? Um, you want him to do his best redneck accent? I want to hear your redneck accent, bro. <laughs> Lloyd, hit me with your redneck accent, bro. <laughs> Brian said everybody needs a pink guitar. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brian, you're making me lose respect for you, homeboy. <laughs> he also cried laughing after he said that. My Joel said hot pink guitar. Floyd Pink. Yep. Another neck. One left. One left. Bum, bum, bum. 
bow. <laughs> There's only one left. <laughs> I know I'm laughing because it's funny, but it's really not funny. I know you guys want the neck, man. That's why I designed them like that. Cause, man, they yeah. told me, look, I've been trying to get, I've been trying to get roasted maple around here cheap, dude. I can't even come close. Any roasted maple for me to make one of those necks is two hundred bucks. For me to make that neck, it's two hundred dollars just to make it. Jam and Jim got him a neck, and Don Bowen. Jam and Jim have stepped him up. What are you gonna put it on, bro? What you gonna put it on, dude? You gonna put it on a cracker? You gonna put that on a cracker? What? That guy. <laughs> What's his name? That weird. That guy. guy is Salty cracker or something like that. I don't know what his name is. But he's funny. I know that that cooks all that Cajun food and stuff. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Because this isn't going to be conductive either. This is going to be a pain in the neck, actually. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grind this. Y'all can't see it, but I'm grinding right now. Jim said he's gonna put it on the guitar he won from us. Oh wow. What was wrong with the neck that was on it? It's not scarred. Oh. It's not awesome like, okay. like that one. But that neck was good on the guitar he got. But it's not totally awesome. It was totally awesome. <laughs> I wouldn't have gave it to him if it wasn't. I'm just kidding. It makes me wonder. It, it didn't did I do my job right the first time? Just kidding, because the scarred name is on. I'm playing. Was it I'm a playing. You know I'm sensitive. Was it a neck you made? You I don't. don't are you freaking out right now? Oh, God. <laughs> Everybody's calling it the Pepto Bismol guitar. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh. Some of the greatest things in life come trolling the trolls. Y'all know I like to troll the trolls, don't you? <laughs> oh, don't get sure. me started, dude. Time sure for Nailing put up a stopwatch emoji. <laughs> Countdown to the trolls, I guess. I will troll the trolls. <laughs> Brad said, <laughs> show them the surrender. Brad, the guitologist, asked no. me, said, how come you didn't use syringes? Right behind you. He said, he said you should have went to the feed store and got some syringes. Over there, too. Right. Yeah. I said, I got plenty of that stuff. We're putting the glue in the We're cracks. We're putting the glue in the cracks. I said, I do that to troll the trolls. And it's true. Just like using the putty knife to spread the glue. And the popsicle stick to, to spread the bondo. <laughs> Randall Crow said he wishes he could laugh this much on Pepsi. <laughs> Bro, it's good to be off dope, man. I used to be on drugs, alcohol, all that good stuff. Dope head, weed head, all that, not nothing down. So a good old glass of Pepsi. Pretty exciting. Pretty exciting, yeah. <laughs> I love trolling the trolls. It's my favorite thing to do. Now, you seen what I did? I grinded this thing off and I put the wire back in there. And if this don't fix it, because I don't think it's gonna, all this is gonna have to be shaved off. Or replaced with some chrome that don't have this coating on it. And then they told the ball shredder that this look listen that these sprint these screws go towards this. 
which is not true. <laughs> you can't even get your screwdriver to them with the tailpiece in the way to adjust it. So you know that it goes on this way with the screws facing the pickup. It has to go on that way. Mr. Uriah is here. What's up, Uriah Massey? Here, listen to this, guys. This is going to blow your mind. Uriah Massey, me and him did time together. Me and him were in prison together for a long time together. I did 10 years straight. I think he did like seven. What's up, brother man? He's just like me, though. Completely different person now. He owns a bunch of land up in Tennessee in the mountains. He's doing his thing. Yeah. Sometimes you get raised by the wrong people. Then you right. I said I did 20, but yeah. <laughs> well, we did seven together, bro. And then you got moved wherever you went. You guys played a lot of music together. Yeah, we played music in there together. He's a killer singer, dude. Killer songwriter. What's remember, up, Ricky? Someone said that guitar has PS. Better late than never. PTSD about hammer. Bobby Steele, what's up? Ed said, when are you going to see this car guitar for sale, Kathy? What? It won't be long, man. Probably after Christmas time. We didn't want to bust them out on Christmas because guys don't buy guitars for themselves for Christmas. They certainly don't buy them for other people. <laughs> Guitologist, what's up? What? Brad in the house. Christ was crucified between thieves, at least one of which was told he would dine in paradise. That's right, my brother. I'm going to be right there dining in paradise. Don, what's going on, man? Johnny Ringo, what's happening? Brad, see that thing on the wall behind him? Ah. Brad. Oh, man. Come on. One more time. Now, you notice the tuners look funny, right? <laughs> oh, God. I'm sure Brad noticed that. He's like, why does that look funny? You gotta tell him because again. Kathy put them on there backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Looking pretty good, ain't it, man? Looking pretty good, ain't it? I <laughs> said so he was wondering about that. <laughs> you thought that was glued in, too. <laughs> Not glued in yet. No, she ain't glued in yet. But she should be real soon, as soon as I get the parts. I don't know what's taking Stumac forever. They usually send stuff really cheap, man. I mean, really quick. Yeah, nothing from them is cheap. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, that guitar is looking killer, man. So, Brad, what's been cooking, bro? Oh, you got the Timu stuff? Nice. I hooked Brad up with the Timu lady. Because that, that website's killer, man. They got all kinds of cool stuff on there, man. What, we got 175 people? Like the like button, and we got 270 people in here, and y'all want me to do something special. Ain't happening. I ain't doing nothing. We should hear him talk on that. I don't care. Brad said he got stuff for drums. Stuff for the drums recording. Did you get you some of them killer drum mics, bro? Yeah, those drum mics, I saw them on there. I was like, man, you know, drum mics and a mixer. Wow, dude, that's what's up. Timo is great for fishing supplies. Man, they got all kind of cool stuff. It's great for everything. You got fret tools from there, smoking gun? We'll see if they're any good. Man, I got this little mixer we're on right now came from there. <laughs> Johnny, Where's that other? Johnny Three Bar said Stu Mac got all his money. 
I got that little orange amplifier right there from there, too. Where'd it go? Uh, it's gone. I it's think in our room. It's in another room. Yeah. yeah, I was using it as a Bluetooth speaker, man. Let's see if this right, stupid yeah. thing's working now. I bet it ain't. You're going to have to strip all this off of there. I can't make you a kick drum, but that's pretty cool. This little thing right here is cool, Brad. I bet you could do something sick with it, man. I bet you could turn this thing into something fat here, Mom. They're on Timu. They're like 59 bucks, I think that was. It's a Bluetooth speaker. It's a killer little amp. It's got delay and reverb. It's got phaser on it. It's pretty cool. Marsha's back. Just in time to see her guitar. Marsha's back. Two yard says conductive paint. You use conductive paint. This stuff's super expensive. <laughs> Look, I don't know what we can use, <laughs> but I'll tell you this right now. I know that stuff's like ninety dollars. If a this doesn't candy. work, which I know it's not, this ain't gonna work because. You seen that? I mean, you can't see all that dust that just came off of there from this just screwing in and out of there. Whatever this they coated it with was a totally a retarded Chinese move. That's all I can tell you. One of them guys, he was like, Oh, we're gonna paint everything black. I got some <laughs> Mark said, Oh, he's already sure it's not gonna work. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, it's not gonna work. But uh, here, can I see that? Just hang on, man. I'm no, trying I'm to do something here. Take the I told you, you'll off. never see anybody do stuff. I'm gonna like take this. the coating off for you with the Dremel with that wire brush. Tip. You don't have to do nothing. Live, die, and stay free. That's it. All you got to do. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Don't start your stuff, Kathy. Don't get. Smacked in the back of the head with a guitar. I ain't get smacked with nothing. You smack her broke? Her smacker must be broke tonight. That's it. Give me this pet What? What? Well, take my drink, man. Come on. She took my Pepsi, bro. Oh, man. Let's see if this works. Brad, what do you think, bro? You think that did it? I wish you guys could see all this black stuff that's all over this guitar. I'm just taking those out. Can you see all that stuff? All that dust around it? Can you? Look at all that crap. Good luck. I put this in the grandma. Yeah. But here's what's going to happen. If this don't work, I'll just swap all the hardware and put silver for it. I got a ton of silver hardware around here to go right on this thing. I got stuff for days. I bet you we could make 40 guitars right now from just parts I have. I'm serious. Just from parts I have. <laughs> Didn't work. You hear it? You hear that noise? Look. I'm touching the output jack and it quit. See? So it needs new hardware. It's kind of dumb to strip that down and make it ugly. I think it would look better with silver probably anyway, wouldn't it? Sorry, Marsha. I'll put some hardware on it. We'll get it squared away for you. What is this? What you got here? 
Purple people eating. What is that? What is that? Nope. That's a Mighty Might neck. They're licensed by Fender. And it's loaded with an American set of Fender's tuners. You see that? Look at this. Two-point trim system. You see it? Look at that block. Two-point tram system. What? A two-point tram system, I said. That's pretty awesome, huh? Ain't it? Genuine fender. Boat jacket. Interesting pit guard. These are supposedly Alnico 5 magnet pit guards. This came from Timu. It's got a kill switch. We went over this already. It's got little bitty switches to switch from single coil to devil humbucker. This is going to be an amazing guitar. Not a single hole in it. That's a Timu body, though, right? His body came off Timu. It was 60 bucks. It weighs nothing. It literally weighs nothing. What are you doing with that guitar? I don't know yet. Don't I don't know. Trying to figure out what I should do with it right now. The neck fits this thing perfect, man. It's like it was made for it, Jack. Yep. That's going to be a nice one. She's going to be nice. Ain't she? Okay. okay, now do the Gibson tuner thing. Put it in upside down. How's that look to you? Woo! What? Yeah, my like buttons ain't up good enough. This might have to wait till Wednesday night, Mom. Wednesday? You mean next I'm, Saturday? Or next Saturday, yeah. Might just have to wait till next Saturday. My like button can't get up there. My like button can't get up. I just... Man, I don't know what's wrong with these guys. Marshall said, would you even rock that purple body? You won't play a pink one. You won't play a purple one? Why do you think it's in the where it's at? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows what Blue you're doing and sunburst. That. That's about it for me. She so gonna tell the people what happens if they hit the like button enough? I'm going to pick a number for this guitar. But if you can't hit the like button, we can wait till next week. Don't matter to me. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. Everyone wants to know how much the Mighty Might necks are. Uh, that guitar, that neck was $110. I'm just gonna jam on the guitar. That's what I'm gonna do. I thought she had to stay in I'm gonna vibe. start singing if they don't hit the like button. Oh Lord. I thought she had to stay in I'm vibe, gonna start please. singing. Aren't you standing that bass box? Huh? Aren't you standing that bass box, Blue? <laughs> Y'all need to get on bread. 
<laughs> I made him one of these. And something happened to the nut on the way there, and all he's got to do is put the nut on it, and he won't do it. I don't know why. How old is that guitar? About two years? <laughs> I hear you. He said I might have something coming up. This thing sounds killer, dude. Two years old, that guitar? This guitar is about two, maybe two, yeah. And yes. It didn't fall apart yet. Second time it's been here for its string change since <laughs> I made it. This is a good guitar. It's a Fender scale. <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? What? Yeah, I like this guitar, man, a whole lot. Now they all want to hear you sing. Nobody wants to hear me sing. Watch people say they do. I'm not selling any acoustic guitars right now, brother. My child said something for a copyright strike. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> I just went in Guitar Center last night for the first time in years. Bro, I hate going in there. They're a bunch of pricks. I always go online and buy from there. <laughs> Every time I go down there, I want to elbow one of them upside the head. Well, we're getting there. The acoustic room was dry as the Sahara. <laughs> Eric, sorry about the commercials, bro. That's how we get money. He said all the necks were warped. All the necks were warped, huh? Dang. The room was too dry. Silent Solitude said, pretty sweet guitar. I'd buy one for sure. Yeah, these are a bitch to make. <laughs> Just tell you just like that. This guitar right here is a nightmare to, to make. The, the worst part about making this guitar was. Man, look. When you're hollowing this out with the CNC. And it takes so long. You're taking four hours to do it. Anything can happen in a four hour time. And with my CNC, if it breaks in the middle, you're probably screwed. You're just got to start over from scratch. Ten more likes. All right, we're looking good on the likes, ain't we? There we go. You just joined it, you got to hit that old like button. Come on. Come on. Paul Ibanez Gio. All right, guys, check it out. If you're in the chat, then you must be a knucklehead. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to pick a little number 
and the number won't be picked until Kathy says go. Say go, Kathy. What? I, it takes me a second now. Calm down. You got to tell them what it's through. I'm going to tell them as soon as you hit the like button. So I don't get 50 million people doing it before they're supposed to. You got approximately two minutes to put your number in. Ready? Go. Yes. Pick a number between one and a thousand right now. Go. Because I got to go to bed. I'm tired of messing with you all tonight. You're not saying anybody? Nope. Not tonight. My buddy's not in here anyway. The guy's not here. I'm yeah, I'm tired, man. Right. You guys ain't tired. I'm tired. Y'all better say thank you, Dave, too. Everyone's name's Dave. <laughs> yep, yeah, thanks, Dave. Dave's the man. We love you, David. You better believe that, you old goat. You, I'm coming to see you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in there and sit in your lap. <laughs> I'm gonna take a video of me sitting in Dave's lap. <laughs> and tomorrow. Sunday's the members only video. Members only live. Members only. <laughs> yeah, that's members only right there. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's my guitar. <laughs> Nights <off. laughs> Yep, members only. Yep, members only. Dave's not here, man. <laughs> yeah, he is. He just said. No, that's a oh. Cheech and Chong joke. So oh, gosh. <laughs> I just on him. Oh, gosh. Y'all heard Kathy? Yes, he is. <laughs> <He's fine. laughs> just like my jacket, members only. <laughs> yeah, Dave's man. Grant Wiley. I don't know. You're just going to have to get a notification, bro, because it's going to be when I get time to do it. Is it going to be in the evening or what? Not wrong. Okay. Say stop. If you don't have your number now, you ain't going to have it. I said stop. My number is 486. 486. Who had 486? Lord, it's going to be a while. Who had said 486 here? Who had it? Who was the closest? I can't even see all the numbers because the, the chat won't let me go back that far. What? The chat won't let you me go back that far. You have to hit live chat. I'm in the live chat. Yeah, what's going on with the chat? Why won't it let us go back? I don't know. Oh, no, it won't let me go back in the chat. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, that's crazy. See somebody with a close number, but I can't go back far enough to, to see. And the more it goes, the more I can't see. Oh, gosh. That's not good. Yeah, that didn't work good at all. Why is it doing that? I don't know. Won't let any of us go back. So I guess we're going to have to pick the winner and announce it in the next live video, guys. That's stupid. We're going to have to go watch it when it makes it. Yeah. I just saw somebody that was really close, but I don't want to say any names yet. Yeah, I'm not going to. No. 
then somebody was like six numbers away. But Time surfing alien, I hear you, bro. It's easy to join the channel. You just click the members button on the front of the home page. You go to more. It's right? not even hard. You go to more on the channel. I'll try to send him an email. To I have refreshed it. I can't. I can't go back. It won't let me go back. And I appreciate you guys for calling out whoever you think won. But I will check it out. And we will announce it in the next live video. Joining as a member doesn't always work if you use the mobile app. Uh, yeah, well, I, don't, I might, don't know what to say. I don't know how to fix that. You might have to do it from a computer. I'm not. I'll try to message him and let him know how to do it. I do not know how time serving alien. That's right, two yards, and it's getting late, bro. My neck bothered me. Ugh. Everybody's saying it was Zolar. Well, we're going to have to check that out. I will have to confirm that myself, I, gentlemen. See, I, <laughs> somebody said uh, Johnny Ringo had 479, and that's, that's what I was going to say. That the other guy had 485, they said. But I couldn't go back far enough to... Johnny Ringo see. himself said that guy beat him. Oh, uh, okay. I right was going to say I couldn't go back far enough to see if anybody else had something different. Yeah, I'm pretty beat, Brian Phelps, man. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'm war slap out. Me and Kathy have been getting to it today. But look, next Saturday, I'll probably do a live video Wednesday night and announce the winner. Look, tell them to eat. Actually, I'll, I'll post it in a community post tomorrow. Who won this tomorrow? Yes. There you go. Good I'll idea. post it on the community post. Good idea. And in the comments on this video. Check our community post tomorrow afternoon so we can That's let right. you know who won. All right, guys, it's been real and it's been fun tonight, but I got to run. You know what I'm going to say, John Harden and Marcia T and Richard and Bill and Greg and the guitologist, Big, big Biggity Bad and John Tolan, my man Brian, Two Yards and Craig and Eric and Johnny, Barry Hayes and Robert Tucker and my child, Mr. Miguel and Zach and Chris. Man, I can't keep up with all you guys. Tony and Rod, Tom, J Max, Dave, M, Dave knows what you're say. Ed Malone, don't touch it. Lisa Simmons, Smoking Gun, Emmett Starcher, Yamil and Gary, N seven four seven WTF. <laughs> Man, that's a mouthful, bro. <laughs> Don's looking forward. We'll catch y'all on the rebound rounds with Orange. And enjoy the ride. You. See the members tomorrow. Mark, Johnny Three Bar, Turd Ferguson. <laughs> but until I see you again, don't you touch my scar guitar. Night.